seminar in real estate say find the motivated seller right you know um and we have to determine what is their level of what i call it is the eq the emotional quotient sales is all about emotion you guys have heard me you new guys here if you, most sales people sell intellectually we sell emotionally first get a get the information get a commitment and then we do the intellectual part, the, that, you know, how the deal should be structured and everything else. But the first thing I've got to, the first thing I've got to find out is what is their EQ, their emotional quotient? Are they a one, a five, or a 10? 10 meaning it's urgent, like that one role play, the first one you did, Justin, yeah, I'm moving, I got a new job, I got to be in East Fumble, Arkansas in 30 days. Yeah. Okay, I love that guy, because I know there's a level of motivation there. And I'm going to make him even more miserable. Sir, I had a friend, same problem as you. Oh, my God, he moved a 1000 miles away. His ha house was empty and a bunch of street people with 10 chihuahuas moved into it. And he couldn't get him out. And, and he lost his home. And, and um, oh God, <laughs> it was horrible. You know, I'm going to try to make him even um, I'm going to try to make him even more emotional. Okay, so the first thing to determine is their level of emotion um, in this. That's why we do the redirection. Sir, what's the big deal? Get a realtor or, or um, you, you know, yeah. why, don't, why don't you don't really want to sell your home? Or sir, sir, you don't want to buy a home. You're living for free in your, in your mother-in-law's attic or something like that. You know, we always go to, because I want to hear them tell me their level of motivation. So I can determine, do I have to, find more needs, create more needs, uh, exacerbate their existing problem. We, we, need to, we need to work on making the prospect more motivated or we got to put more pain into the deal. If their pain is very low and we can't change it, well, I want all cash and I, I don't care how long it takes. Yeah. You know, um, are you really going to sell? Are you going to get that guy to do something creatively? No. No. Nah. Three words I'll teach you, price or term. Something I say very early to all, pro I'm, very, uh, I'm very transparent. Use a great millennial word. Uh, when I speak to a prospect, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, um, I'm looking to do business today. I'm a private investor. Um, do you want your price or do you, do you want your price or do you want terms? Tell me, what are you looking for? Cash or would you like more money, but I need terms? And I'll, I'll be glad to explain that to you. What are you, what are you looking for? What would make you happy today? Cash. I okay. want cash. That's oh, great. And best. your house, and I think your house is what? $300,000? Yeah. $299. i will I'll go, I'll go down to two ninety five right now. If you, oh, if you, aren't you wow, you're a regular Monty Hall. Who knows, mm. who, who knows who Monty <laughs> Hall is quick. Is there anyone remember Monty Hall? Let's make a deal. That's it. Let's make a deal. <laughs> yes. I love trivia. He was a uh, what? Uh, he was from Canada, I believe. Um, so we, we, you know, we've got to get back into the negotiation with him, sir. I'm a private investor, and one of the things that's important to me is the time value of money. Um, would you like to close in the next thirty days? Is that the dream? In order for me to do that, I would need we we can't we need to do this deal for two fifty, all cash, thirty day close. Could you live with that? Please don't get mad at me. Oh, that's a lot. That's a really, that's a haircut. Yeah. I mean, a, you're scalping me there, man. Okay. Now listen, it's okay to say no to me. Would you like to say no? Yeah. I can well, take no, it. Well, no, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, no. sounds good. Yeah. How about, you want two ninety nine? How about I give you 300? Would you like 300,000 instead? And I'll pick up the closing costs? Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'd like. Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, can we structure this? Is this an investment property or your own home, sir? Uh, no, I don't. It's a, it's actually a house that I've, I inherited and, uh, I don't need it and don't want it. It's been sitting there empty for six months. And okay. It's free. And I, I, I'm making yep. a big assumption. It's free and clear. Yep. Uh, what if I sent you an offer today for $300,000? What would you, and I'll pick up the closing. I'll pick up the closing costs. What would you say to me next? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, that's what I'm asking for it on Zillow. So if you want to make a cash offer for that, that sounds great. Let's I'd say let's do I it. I didn't say a cash offer, sir. I'd like to make an offer for three hundred thousand dollars. I'll I'll tell you what. Um, off the role play. Did you hear? I didn't negotiate the deal yet, but does everybody see? I gave him one potato chip. What happened when I said 
What if I could give you $300,000 and pick up the closing costs? What did I get from Justin? And that, that was a really good role play, by the way. You know, say, anybody, yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah, did I yeah. get? But 300,000, yes, yes. I could do it, yes. I got a yes. What a, what's another wonderful word for the word yes? Commitment. It, commitment. commitment. We yeah. got a commitment. Now I've got, now here's another rule. It might be on Justin's list. You can fix it later. So now he doesn't want cash, he wants price. So now we go into terms. What, we, what are different ways we can do it? We could do a lease purchase. Uh, it's free and clear. So why don't we do owner finance? Why don't we negotiate an owner finance deal? Okay, Mr. Yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. Chamnus, can I call you Justin? My name's Claude. Uh, yes, please do. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you the $300,000. If you hold the mortgage, just like a bank, and I'll make you, hmm. I'll make you pay, I'll make you principal only payments every month well, for the next 60 months. And then a balloon at the end and you get the balance of your money. Could you live with that? Um, I don't know what that means monthly wise, but actually, you know, that's something I thought of. Uh, it might be a good solution for me, uh, because of this tax thing. I'm kind of worried about, uh, so hey. Tell you what, I'll even sweet. Uh, are you the decision maker in this process, sir, or is there a Mrs. Chamness? Uh, I am the decision maker. I'm the only one. Got to be quite careful with that question. I could be talking to Caitlyn Jenner. I, I don't know, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> so, our next our next California governor, by the way. <laughs> don't shake your head, Chris. I saw that. Don't shake your head. <laughs> Maybe you'll get on the Wheaties box again. <laughs> yes. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I'm not going there. We're not going there, Jason. Okay. <laughs> That's for beer with Claude Friday talks. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> this is the family session. <laughs> but um, we, oh, where were we? I lost my train of thought here. I'm going to negotiate with you. Uh, let's go back in the role play for one. I'll tell you what, Mr. Chamis. If you can make a decision right now, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $300,000, I'll give you monthly payments, and I'll give, and I'll give you 6% interest, accumulated interest on your money for the next 60 months with a balloon. It means you'll get a check every month, you'll be getting 6% interest, your bank only pays maybe 1% if you're lucky. I'm gonna give you 6%. If you will hold the mortgage, you will get money every month and your property is now sold without a realtor, without closing costs, and you got a thousand over your asking price. Can we do? Can we do a deal, sir? I'm very busy. I have to go in a minute. Yeah, that sounds good. You say uh, twenty percent down? No, I did not. Where did you hear that? Oh, well. Where'd that I mean, come from? The universe? Where'd you hear that? No, it sounds like uh, it sounds good to me. Except, uh, you know, I'm going to need a, a a pretty pretty decent down payment if I'm going to be the bank. No, I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, when you say a decent down payment. Yeah, about 20%. That, what, yep. 20%, 20% I think is going right. Yeah. 20%. Can we divide that 20% over the five years? And every year you'll get a supplemental amount of, you'll get an additional uh, um, uh, four, um, someone do the math for me. I think yeah, it's 4,000. 4, uh, yeah, we could, yeah, I could, I could. You've gotten everything. I could do that. You've gotten, I, you've gotten everything you asked for, sir. Can we do a deal today? Yes or no? Because I gotta leave. Yes. Thank you. I'll send you a contract right now from Hello Sign. Could you get it back to me before four thirty? Yes. You're a gentleman, sir. I'll look forward. Uh, I'll send it to you in the next hour. Boom. Mm. This is what it. This is gut selling, uh, by the yeah. way. This yeah. stuff really happens. I make yeah. offers. Now, if I find out the house is damaged or something else, that'll come out in my due diligence. But, you know, the thing about it is, can we get a commitment? Can we negotiate a deal? Can we negotiate finance and everything else? If I find out something else later on, I'll come back to the table and renegotiate. But most people do the opposite. What do we do? We run around, we go, uh, pro we go to the property, we do all this research and time and, and everything else. You know, when, when I, when I, when I, you know, I want to, I want to do, I want to find out if I have a real hot prospect in the first phone call, if I can really do a deal. Does that make sense, Justin? Absolutely. It does. 
Let's go to the next question. I'm too, my answers Absolutely. are way too long. I'm sorry. No, you're doing fine. I